Welcome back to Cards and Comics. Today we're going to do another 90s box break. This is the first one I've done since I announced my intention to open every product from the 90s. So here's the first product we're going to open. We're going to look at it. It's going to be UC3 from 1995, Pinnacle. Now the reason why I'm opening this is because the last box I opened was the D3, the Lenticular Tops product. This is going to be the lenticular um, pinnacle product. And we'll scroll down here. Now, it mentions here that Tops released a similar product. Um, there we go. Get a little more center. So Tops released a similar product called D3. And this product was a lot cheaper. I think D3 was like twice as expensive as this product. 36 packs, $101.99. Um, so this has a lot more inserts. You got to remember uh, the D3 product only had the zone insert, which is like one in four packs or something, one in six packs. This has got um, artist proof, cyclone squads in motion, clear shots. And then if we scroll over, we can see that the artist proofs are one in 36 and the clear shots are one in 24. And the in motion are one and eighteen. So there's some inserts in this product, and you can kind of scroll down. You can see what the UC3 looks like. Kind of base cards, base set. That was sorry, promo. Um, there's the rookies. There's the in depth. It's another subset. Here's the artist proof. I think. Yeah, that little gold symbol. Cyclone Squad. So, I don't in motion. I mean, they look pretty cool. I would say it looks clear shots. They look much better than D3, right? So that's what we got. And of course, from my set collecting side of it, this will be box number 50. So going back to oop, my actual list here of products I've opened, this is going to be box number 50 um, in the series. And in 1995, this will be the seventh box I've opened right here, UC3 right there. So now we can put a one there and we are going to open this product. All right. So that is the, and then I'll do a summary and kind of a, um, you know, kind of just overall thoughts at the end. So there we go. We're going to open one box of UC3. Pull back the camera a little bit so we can start it. Get some light in here. We'll light her up. Try to make everything a little straighter than it has been. So here's the box. And I will say Pinnacle was really good about packaging back at this time period. Look at this. This is like some nice looking packaging. We got some really nice, um, you know, graphics here. We got the UC3 baseball logo. And this whole thing is lenticular uh, atop. That whole piece there. Whereas, remember the D3 had just one card stuck. This is like the whole placard. So if I was to like just look at the two products and say, which of the two was more expensive, I would have guessed this product right here. But this again was half the price of the D3 product from um, Tops. So... You can see Tops sometimes did struggle a little bit in value and design. Um, Pinnacle definitely was a great company for innovation. So there is, I've never opened this before. I've never even seen the packs, but this is a fairly inexpensive product. If you want to like, um, you know, open a box yourself, this will not run you very much. I think maybe like 40 bucks, 30, 40 bucks for this product. Um, get everything out of the way here. And uh, now there's something, there's cardboard on top. So there's this, so we gotta remove cardboard here. And then there is the packs here that have this other insert here. So there's a lot of packaging here uh, that we'll get through, but there's the packs. They're very heavy packs. Uh, Lenticular products were a lot, of, a lot of plastic. So, all right. So we got the box out of the way. We got the packs here. 
these super duper heavy packs. And we'll get right into it. I'm going to get a little closer here. Get the lighting set up. So, all right. Um, UC3. Again, that's a, that's a play on words, guys. UC3. Get it? Get it? <laughs> oh, man. The, the puns are pack open super duper easy. Uh, so that's probably not so great. The pack opens so easily. All right. We'll see if we see the weirdness we saw with the tops product, which, you know, had the, um, you know, where the, the lenticular cards all looked like, you know, somebody colored them in or had powder on them. Now let's see motion wise, a little bit of motion in the background, not a ton, not as sports flick, sports flick like. Um, this is in depth from Cal Ripken Jr. Yeah, I'm just trying to get my light in the right spot. So you can see a little bit of in depth there. Um, yeah, it's not, you know, not what I would call like super duper, um, you know, um, motion but there's a little bit so that's a subset and then here's the base card so here's ray langford and you can see instead of like the the player moving this the background moving um i don't know that's not horrible i mean it's not it's kind of odd honestly you know i, I would have thought they would have you know done more like sports flicks and had more than just the background moving but this is this is what it is so we got alan trammell and again, it's a little bit different background on the Alan Trammell. So maybe every card's a little different. There's Barry Bonds. It's cool. You can definitely see the ball is very, you know, 3D there. So is, is now this one's the same. So these two are the same. But I do got a Barry Bonds. So there we go. We're all Mondesi. So that's sort of the base cards. And this is what the backs look like for that, for the raw Mondesi. The you know, so these are the base cards. So no insert there. Just a subset card, the in-depth. But we should definitely get a few uh, inserts. And um, well, looks like there's an in-depth card on, on the back of every of every one. So that's kind of cool. A um, little sticky. A little sticky. Um, so we got Darren Dalton on this one. Move on. All right. Here's our first insert, I believe. Here is... Yeah, in motion number one. So Cal Ripken Jr. is representing. Now this definitely looks like sports. Ooh, look at that! Wow, that is cool. <laughs> That's pretty cool, guys. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. Compared to anything in the Tops product, this this card blows that away. Wow, that is that's pretty cool. I mean, I, as a kid, I would have been like blown away, blown away by that. That's really cool. So there we go. That's a pretty cool looking card. So that's our first insert. And, oh, right behind it. Look at this. This is like the best pack ever. Right behind it is a artist proof. Look at that. Ivan Rodriguez, a player I collect. This is like, this is awesome. <laughs> I'm already having more fun two packs in with um, UC3 than I had with every pack for the most part of the... Um, um, tops D3. So this is pretty cool. Oh, that's pretty awesome. Remember those, I believe the uh, artist proofs were like one a box. So there you go. I'm going to put him and I'll put the Ripken in a holder as well. Just kind of cool. You know, already a lot of fun. Uh, and again, you got to remember that guys, this, this, this is like a $40 box of cards. So, you know, this isn't like, you know, spending $400 on a box of cards, and, <laughs> you know, and hopefully when you hit something good, this is like a lot of fun on the cheap. If you want to open a, a fairly inexpensive product from the nineties. This is one of them and you get, you know, those are pretty cool. I mean, a lot of people don't like the sports flex cards. You know, I get that. Um, so, but here we go. Um, 
Artist proofs are one in 36 packs. So that Ivan Rodriguez is one per box. And that in motion is one in 18. So I should get two in motion cards. Uh, so I should get another one of these in this box. So there we go. And then the rest of the pack, we've got a Marty Cordova. That's what the rookie subset looks like. And here is a Mark McGuire. Um, and this is the in depth. And that's just a uh, card from the uh, a subset card. So two packs in, and I feel really good about where I'm at. <laughs> Already having a lot of fun with this product. Uh, just two packs in. Again, I think we've already had more fun with this product than we had the entire time we opened that D3 product. Um, so, clearly, I think the UC3 product uh, was the winner, uh, even though, again, back in those days, it was more expensive. So here's Mark Grace. Mark McGuire B, so that's cool. Fred McGriff. Hal Morris. And then in depth Will Clark. So again, that you know, some of these in depth have more motion to them than others. Um, so it is what it is. It's, it's cool. So we haven't hit a Cyclone Squad. Um, oh, that's just in depth. Sorry, the in, the in motion is that rookie. Yeah, uh, we haven't hit a clear shot. We should get one or one to two clear shots as well. We got some more inserts coming. I just saw a cool player on the back here. One of the guys that we're looking for. We got Wally Joyner, Brett Saberhagen. So for box number 50, it's not too bad. I mean, you would have think and I would have if I was gonna plan this better, I probably would have like tried to make box fifty in, in my countdown, you know, a, a really important box, but I'm having a lot of fun. And this is a cool card. So here's a cyclone squad. This is a nice looking card. This is Fred McGriff, and let's look at this card. So we got some foil in the background. Um, see how it kind of moves. I'll try to get the light on it a little bit more. These are hard, but you can see how the light and then see how they kind of move in the light there. Um, pretty cool card. I like the foil. So it's cool to see a sports flicks card and foil together. That's pretty cool. It's a, it's a dark card. So I've, I've got my light as, close as I can kind of get. Um, so the card itself is just a little dark, but when you shine the light directly on it, you can see that foil. So these were cool cards, like, wow, pretty impressive. And then there's our in-depth King Griffey Jr. He looks really young in this photo. This is a great photo, look at that. And I love how, it, how that 3D looks in the background. It looks pretty awesome, like that looks really cool. Um, so yeah, like, you know, I mean, obviously with the D3 cards being so uh, messed up from just how they didn't uh, age properly, um, just seeing the cards being in good condition is already when, but they're just so much nicer. I mean, it's just hard to say or hard to express the fact that, um, you know, like th this was just a much better set than that D3 product from Tops. It's just, it's night and day um, different. So it, it, you know, it, it just goes to show you like sometimes um, you just swing and miss and then and Tops definitely swung and miss. But this is a nice product. This is, I think, much nicer than most sports flicks. I haven't seen a sports flick set this nice. And this product is just a lot of fun. So Mark Rudzelanek, we got Randy Johnson. You know, um, so they definitely try to, you know, I call it like improve upon the sports flicks concept with some cool inserts. There's Paul Molitor. Um, here is Kenny Lofton. So, and, you know, by combining some technologies like foil and lenticular, they're, they're definitely stepping out there and trying to be its own little thing. And I, I think it succeeded. I, um, I'm pretty sure D3 only had one year. Um, I don't remember this having a 96 version. So for a one and done, it was pretty cool. Like, this wouldn't have been a bad set to own back in those days. Oh, and there's our Griffey base card. 
pretty cool. So we've hit the Griffey uh, subset and now the Griffey base. And uh, that always makes me happy to be able to pull the Griffey cards out of a product like this and be able to add them to my collection without having to go through, you know, and buy them off eBay because they're cool cards and uh, just card for my collection right there. Pretty cool card. So we've already hit a lot of, um, there's a Mike Piazza. Um, a few PC cards already, and uh, and the artist proof was a player I collect, um, so everything's kind of lining up. So we'll be over, you know, over. Will this box over deliver? We'll see. There's Bichette, Hernandez, Rico Bronia, Kevin Apier. And then Roger Clemens. So the one player we haven't seen too much of is Frank Thomas. Or Derek Jeter. Well, we won't see a Jeter because this is a 95 product. Um, but we should see some Frank Thomas. Hopefully. All right. Here we go. Orlando Miller. Roberto Almar. Chuck Knobloch. Oh, there's our second... Cyclone Squad, and it is Jeff Bagwell. So that's probably the only two of those we're going to get. So but they're pretty cool cards. I would definitely like to get the Griffey. Pretty sure he's in that one. Um, just to have, you know, cool card. And there's a Fred McGriff and a Raw Mondesi in depth. So inserts are hitting. We haven't hit every insert, but, you know, we definitely hit quite a few already so on that side of it not going to get skunked like we do sometimes with tops jr phillips john valentin here's something that's backwards is this going to be fun nope just a charles johnson rookie card there's bobby bonilla Oop. bobby bow and rafael palmero All right. It's one thing, too, is like these seals are just, you know, I've just done this and that whole top seal came off. So not a great seal. So if the, if this product was going to oxidize, you know, in the, in the um, you know, due to exposure to, to the uh, oxygen over a long period of time, it definitely did not. So a little more stable than the, the D3 cards. Here's something cool. Oh, it's just a rookie. The Andres Galarraga. There is a Sean Green rookie part, rookie card. Uh, J Bell, cool pirate, and Greg Maddox in depth. So I kind of like how they did with the in depth cards. They kind of just said, "Well, we're going to make the base cards kind of like a funky background, and then if you want more of a sports flick like card, we'll do that with another subset." So you kind of get the best of both worlds. You get kind of like this kind of really pretty kind of busy, but kind of 3D effect background for some cards. And then you can also get that traditional, like just, you know, people in the background type <laughs> sports flick traditional design. Um, Mike Messina, Delgado. Like, yeah, you can see the Maddox here. It's like, yeah, this is like a traditional sports flicks card. Just some guy in the background that moves a little bit. Um, you know, we've all seen those. All right. This pack seems thicker. I don't know. Maybe it's just how this pack was made. There's something in here. So we'll see what it is. There's our Frank Thomas. Sweet Frank Thomas. So that's cool. So we've hit both the Griffey and the Frank. That's nice to hit all those cool base cards. It's Ruben Sierra and here is in motion and here is 
pragmatics in motion. Wow, that is so cool. There we go. So that's our second motion. So we've hit um, the, the, I think the Ripken was the first one, then we hit the Maddox. So two pretty cool Hall of Famers. So yeah, the first one was Cal Ripken, and now we've hit a second one. So I'm pretty stoked about that. So I do think that, um, you know, in this time period of collecting, um, these sets and products like this that are just fun and have some cool designs are so easy to forget because people got, you know, are so focused on a few different inserts and products from the 90s. These, you know, these products like Pacific products, but they had cool designs and some cool innovation. Just get so easily forgotten. There's a Dale Domo. Um, Palmero and Palmero. So there we go. This is more tops like right there. Two cards back to back, same exact player. Um, but it doesn't mean that the proc was bad. It doesn't mean that these, you know, were, um, you know, should just have been forgotten because, you know, I think this proc has proven to me that. As a kid in 1995, I would have been like, this product's cool. I would have, I would have enjoyed this quite a bit in 1995. So Ben McDonald, Tony Gwynn, Paul O'Neill, Larry Walker. All right. So we haven't hit the clear. Um, we've hit the artist roof. We haven't hit a clear shot yet so we've hit our two in motions um cyclone squad which are these right here uh we should get like nine of those or one of four packs so we should get more of those uh clear shot we should hit at least one of those so we're missing that but we're missing a lot of cyclone if that's the truly one of four because there's 36 packs in this product so there we should hit some more of those pretty soon all right, here we go. We got uh, Audrey Smith. Pretty well, cool. and speak of the devil, there's one right there. Russ Davis, Kenny Lofton, and then Will Clark. Will Clark on the old Cyclone Squad. And in all honesty, the Cyclone Squad, if they'd have made that a one per box insert, I was pretty cool. Or like, I wish they had done one insert that's like one in 72. Something like this, that's like 1 in 72, because that's a really cool looking card. It's just, you know, it's it's really easy to hit. So, um, you know, it won't have any value, but that that's a cool enough design. They could have done like a 1 in 72. And people would have been like, oh, it's cool. You got foil and lenticular. It's pretty awesome. All right. We got here. Now, there is a little stickiness here, so I am loosening them up a little bit. Uh, but no back damage, so there's... Mr. Glavine. Chipper Jones. Look at that. There's a chipper. Yeah. A lot of years after his rookie. Omar. And Kirby Puckett. Yep. So that was a hitless pack. And again, we're looking for the clear shot for the last insert type to pull. So hopefully we can hit one of those. Just be fun to document what they look like. I've never, I've never even seen one. And there's a regular Ivan Rodriguez. Remember, we pulled the artist proof a little earlier. There's Armando Benitez. And then here is, again, another Cyclone. And here's Mike Piazza. So that's cool. So we are starting to, to get some of these guys coming in. All right, so this is like the fourth cyclone we've had. Yeah. So, and there's 20 in this set. So, and then a Will Clark base there. So yeah, like, what do you guys think about it? I mean, this is definitely a lot better product than I was expecting, honestly. Honestly, for the price point and just sort of how, you know, people generally don't like sports flicksy kind of products and 
you know, it's kind of like you see it once and the gimmick's kind of, you know, it's kind of like a one and done type gimmick product for me. Dave Justice, Bernie Williams, and then Mr. Mattingly. It's cool that he still had cool cards in the 90s. Um, you know, I like that. All right. Mr. Cecil Fielder. Start us off here. Yeah, just kind of loosen them up a little bit. Not really, you know, damage sticky, but they definitely been in these packs long enough to get a little sticky. Dalaraga, Moses Alou, and Carlos Bayerga. All right, there's a lot of packs too. Like, there's a lot of a lot of stuff to open in this product. So if you like opening packs, this is a good product for you. It's cheap in a lot of packs. So for a lot of people, that is what they love. Joe Randa, Travis Fryman, Will Clark, Juan Gonzalez, all this like red and uniforms, and Mr. Gwen. All right, so I'm thinking we're going to hit a few more inserts before this is done, just based on the pull ratios, but we'll see. All right. Tim Salmon, Andy Benaz. It's cool to see some of these guys, like Andy Benaz, who was really good. Jeff Cirillo, Mondesi, and then Matt Williams. A lot, a lot of cards uh, <laughs> uh, in the set. Now, if you see something, that I missed, please put a little note in the chat. You know, like if I miss an artist proof, which I shouldn't because I've found it's like one per box, but you never know. Jack McDowell, that's cool. Oh, hey, look, we got a bonus uh, in motion. We should only hit two and we got three. Um, yeah, Jack McDowell was interesting. Yeah, I mean, this guy, um, you know, 90, look at his 91 and 58, 350 ERA. This guy was a good pitcher for a while. Really good pitcher. All right. In motion, Barry Bonds. Look at that. Pretty cool. So there we go. And then we'll do the... Ooh, there's that. Cool motion. Yeah, just <laughs> like a kid. Again, my 12-year-old self would have been like radical. Cool. Love this. So, yeah, I got to get some more top loaders here. Um, let's put these in. Grab this one. Oops. Keep doing that. It's like I'm so in here. It's so tight. There we go. Get the Barry Bonds now. So that's our third one. Pretty sweet. Greg Jeffries. Another Tony Gwen. That's like the second or third of those I've hit, so... Definitely getting doubles. So we're going to get the clear shot. I sure hope we do. Because that, you know, it's just, I like to see what that design looks like. Oop, I almost spent that card in half. Poor Michael Tucker. Uh, here's Aaron Seeley. That's a cool one. A-Rod. 1995 A-Rod. And then right behind it, 1995 Todd Hollandsworth. It's a cool looking card. That, yeah, I would like to have that in Artist Proof just to have it, you know, just to, it looks really cool. Um, two packs left. So, hmm. Do they give us the uh, in motion as a, you know, and we're going to get two, an, an extra in motion and not the uh, clear cut? We'll see. Billy Ashley. Gem. Tell me there's something there, but no, oh, it's just the rookie gem. Gonzalez. There's another cyclone squad. And it's Bobby Bonilla. Yeah. It's okay. Not the player I would have loved. I would have loved to have gotten one of the three, or at least two. Jeter's not going to be in this set. Uh, players I normally collect, but behind us, the Barry Bonds card. That's cool. 
Last pack, guys. So we're going to get the Cyclone card. That would be cool. To get all the inserts. We shall see. We shall see. We shall see. All right. Sammy Sosa. Midri Cummings. Wade Boggs. And we did not hit. Wow. A little disappointing not to get uh, all the inserts as we're all on to see. So, no clear shot. Got an extra in motion. So, yeah, I mean, we'll do a little wrap up here, but yeah, that's not not as fun as I was hoping. Because um, again, the clear shots are one in 24 packs. So, you theoretically should get at least one of these cards in a, in a box. Whereas the in motion are one in 18. So, you should get exactly two. So, all right. So, I'll do my. Um, a uh, kind of a um, a wrap up here and then um, kind of give my final thoughts here. So um, we'll start here with the Cyclone cards. So we've got, these are one of four packs. Um, so theoretically you should get nine of these. Um, we did not. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So maybe one in six packs. Maybe there's only 24 packs in a box. Maybe that's where I'm making my mistake at. Because I swore that this was a 36-pack box. But that may have been just bad information on my part. Uh, let's see what the... Yeah, it's 24. So, that means that... Um, yeah, you still should hit the clear shot. Yeah, that should be one per box. The artist proof is actually one in every box and a half so that was the one that we may have not should have hit but we should have definitely got one to two in motions and we hit three of those so so yeah we get six cyclones so that's what was bothering me like why we should need a lot more of those no there's only 24 packs so we should get six of these and we hit all six so we got Mondesi, Benia, Piazza, Will Clark, Fred McGriff and Jeff Bagwell and then here is a cool base card of Barry Bonds so, and then for the kind of more harder hit in cards I collect, in motion, we hit the Barry Bonds in motion. You can see that right there. Um, the Greg Maddox. The Cal Ripken Jr. And again, those are one in 18 packs. Uh, a Frank Thomas base card. A King Griffey Jr. base card. Um, and then here's a Ken Griffey Jr. subset in depth. And then the, the kind of the best hit, obviously, was the Artist Proof. And we did get the Ivan Rodriguez Artist Proof right there. Oop, sorry. Uh, so those are one in every box and a half. There's the back. Doesn't say anything on the number. So it's just that gold stamp right there that says it's Artist Proof. Uh, so there it is. That's the hits from the box. Uh, overall thought here is... Uh, extremely fun product. Extremely fun. Um, just, you know, good enough designs. You know, this design is cool. Foil and lenticular together. Uh, artist proof. That is a common way of doing artist proof. Just a little stamp. Pacific did it a lot. Um, cool. I mean, I think the base card design is a little busy, honestly. You know, it doesn't kind of, I know they're trying to make it look a little futuristic and 3D, but, you know, it's okay. Horizontal, again, some people don't like that. Um, but I think that's okay because they back that up with this kind of more straightforward sports flicky in depth. So you got kind of the best of both worlds. These emotion cards are very cool. I think they are really cool looking use of lenticular, so I enjoy them. And I hit, you know, obviously I should have hit two max i hit three um i didn't get the clear cut which is disappointing because i'm probably not going to open another box of this honestly just because i am um, i got so many other boxes to open you know i got 430 boxes to go through and to purchase and open that i'm not going to probably open this again but it was a lot of fun and if you're looking for a cheap product to open to pull some interesting cards you know to pull kind of a tougher card subset which is the artist proof cards um, this is kind of like, you know, a fun product. If you can go out and 
get it for 30 to 40 bucks, you know, uh, maybe even 25 if it's, you know, someone just wants to get rid of it. Um, it's worth it. I think it's worth that 30, 40 bucks it's, is, you know, to open it and just to kind of experience it. It's a, it's a cool product. And I think uh, Pinnacle did a great job on kind of redoing sport flicks and I think in a little bit cooler way. So there it is, guys. That's my uh, UC3 box break from 1995, uh, box break number 50. And uh, we'll continue our journey to open every wax box in the 90s uh, next time on Cards and Comics. Bye.